ask God, why is this happening to me? When I live home. Collective, I don't know if this is you or the other person, okay? But um someone was someone wants answers. Like someone wants the truth. Just like, can I so I know what to do with this? It's kind of what I'm getting. I do feel like a lover left or you f someone here feels like it's unfinished something's unfinished and so until you get that last bit of information which is possibly close you know closure for you then you can move on from it that's not how it's supposed to work though so in a sense it's like this person's not holding you back you might be holding you back but I don't know. Let's let's get the cards out here. Because I don't want to. Okay, my goal is not to piss nobody off, child. Show sure ain't. I'm just trying to figure out what this is. I'm feeling scared. What's going on here? All right. So we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. The bottom of the deck is service. I feel good when I can help others. So this person came in your life as a part of service. Okay. And now you're having to get through this adversity. This it's kind of like transmuting the energy of what this person has left you in. And I feel like once you do that, then you'll be able to show gratitude for this person coming in and hurting you the way that they've done. Okay, I feel like someone here is waiting on the wrong thing. This is this person was in your life to teach you some type of lesson. But um, I feel like you're not seeing it correctly. Someone here is not seeing something correctly. This is definitely dealing with twin flame situations. Um, now, whether it's a third party that has shown someone something so they can go toward their twin or if it was the actual twin. Got to learn the lesson first, okay? There's Everything is energy. So, what this person has done, this, this you're just sitting in that energy. Trying to figure out, okay, what is this that we have? Why, I need some closure. What happened? Why aren't you talking to me? Why don't you want to be here? What the fuck is going on? And until you get that, you're just stuck. You can't be stuck, baby. You're going to have to push through this and accept that challenges is the best way to learn. Once you learn this lesson, then you, you'll be grateful with the gratitude. The card says, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Let's get the tarot on this. Spirit. Yeah, somebody needs to see the truth here. It's like, it's like you want the truth. You're waiting for this person to just, if you would just give me the fucking truth, I can move on. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. It's and that's what you're holding on to. You, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with this person. That's not the reason they was in your life. It's for you to heal something with, within you. Let's keep going. What in the spirit? I'm telling you, you, somebody's, I'm not saying it's you, but someone's definitely stuck in their head. And they're holding on to something that they're just like, I got to know before I move on. I have to know this before I move on, whatever this is. Someone wants enlightenment here. And they're not going to move on until they get it. But what, what if I told you you, don't, you won't get it from this person? The enlightenment will come in from you once you transmute the energy. If you transmute this energy and heal whatever this is that's making... Because Four of Pentacles is lack. You feel like you got to know this before you can move on. When you heal that within yourself... Because we have service here with adversity. This person was here to teach you something. So once you heal that within yourself and you can move on... Then there is no lack. Your intuition can open up. And the answers that you're seeking from this person... Your intuition will tell you itself. I hope I ain't, like, confusing nobody here. But I know that's what somebody's waiting on. For something to be illuminated. That your intuition will give you the answer on. You won't have to guess. Oh, is it this? Or is it that? Oh, is it, like, if you're watching readings. Oh, is it that? That sounds like it's my story. If you heal this within you right here, you'll know if something is yours or not. Okay? Not a cups here. So I feel like... Um, it's, Let's see, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we got all the signs. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and then just Leo. So we don't have Aries and Sag yet. Okay. So I, I do feel like it was some, this person was very charming when they came in. Um, they may have presented this cup as if they wanted to start a new relationship. And maybe you were feeling this person and you thought they were feeling you. And then what? Did this person hold back? Uh, what happened, Spirit? Let's keep going. Seven of Cups. Someone's fucking confused. Like I, like, I don't know what happened here. Everything was going good. And then all of a sudden, this person just started holding back from me. Yeah, you thought that this would be like the end all be all. And it's not. It's, it's not. This is somebody who was here to teach you, baby. What else, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups, open up to your intuition. I'm telling you, that's what this is. It's like, once you heal, what the cards say? I love myself. And I see myself in everyone. So there's something within you that attracted this person from the beginning. But you attracted them so you can learn that and heal that and then move on, right? But you're waiting for the truth to come from this person. It's like you're, you're wanting more than what this... This was not even supposed to be a relationship. It was a lesson. You got to look at... Awareness is half the battle, y'all. Because, like, somebody's sitting here waiting on someone. Somebody's sitting here waiting on a Knight of Cups to bring them the Ace of Cups. It's not going to happen. Not in this situation. Okay? Um, and like I said, I don't know who this is. This could be twins that's dealing with a third party and they're waiting on this third party like I, i'm stuck i had this beautiful connection with someone and now i'm fucking confused i don't know what this person wants they won't open up to me they won't tell me anything they won't give me any clarity i'm just stuck I, so until i find out what we have or what it's gonna be i can't move on no 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 you're giving all of your power over to this person. What if this person's out there done built a whole life with someone else and you're still sitting here waiting to get clarity from them? It's not fair. It's not fair at all. And I know someone here thought this was going to be the, the bee's knees, baby. This is a lesson. It's a lesson. So come up out of this thinking that the Four of Cups in the Upright, to me, is someone who's feeling like, yeah, Empress. So, this could be you who's waiting to hear something from someone else. You have to heal this first. This person ain't even finna, they ain't even gonna come back to you. Because, you know, on this path, we have to learn to listen to our intuition. By the time this person comes back to you, you will know everything you didn't know about it. But here's the thing. They're not even going to come back in. If they even come back, uh, collective, because it was a lesson, service, I feel good when I can help others, adversity, gratitude. It was a lesson. And somebody stuck on it. Now, this could I, this could be the other way around. The, the um, masculine could be stuck with a third party trying to figure out what they got going on and before and, and spirits like no that was just a lesson the end goal is the empress okay or it can be the empress that's stuck waiting on somebody to give them some type of clarity so they can free their mind you got to free your own mind and everybody know when you free your mind the rest of it gonna follow there's a lot of of confusion here that's keeping somebody stuck and Okay, you want to know why this person hold back from me? I don't get it. I don't understand. Especially if this is your twin. You're like, I'm the empress. They're the emperor. They, you know, I know we got this connection. What is going on? Okay? Page of Wands. Definitely someone's... Baby, listen. You're just delaying yourself with the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you. Someone's delaying they self. here I, I just don't know who it is it don't honestly it don't feel like it's the empress or she wouldn't be sitting in the empress energy i feel like my empress could be there could be some type of interference 
Mm, let's see, Spirit. I'm getting confused now. Because I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, you have a King of Pentacles and a King of Wands. That person is stuck. And it's delaying them. Because they've had this connection with someone. Maybe they've known this person for a while. But they've never really been able to penetrate this person's heart. And they're stuck trying to figure out why. Why does this person always come back in my life? And we have such a good time. And it never really goes anywhere. I'm, I'm Every single time I'm left like this. Whether it's the same person or the same cycle. This person is left stuck in the head and confused. And they can't really move on. To what... With the sun and empress here, it's almost like somebody know what who this empress is. But because of whatever this knight of cups situation is, they can't move on from it. So I don't know who that knight of cups person It don't matter who it is. It's a lesson. That's it. And spirit is trying to tell. Yeah. Spirit is trying to tell this would normally be the emperor. They're working up the energy, but it's something that they got to heal. So what do we have? Mm hmm And that's why the King of Cups ain't out here. All four of the kings would make what? An emperor. The King of Wands is here. The King of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Your person, there's something in their heart space that's blocked off. Mm hmm And so they continue to go outside of themselves. Four of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups is here. They're stuck on a Knight of Cups because they haven't healed their own heart. Which would be the King of Cups, right? So there's something that always comes in this person's life. I feel like it's a particular person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a third party. This person always comes around. It's like they need to move on from this person. They really do. Y'all, and this Knight of Cups know what they're doing. And it's kind of hard, though, because... This Knight of Cups, it's not like a very, it's not like a malicious, oh, I'm just, I'm trying to keep you stuck on purpose. They're doing their job, service. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They're going to make this emperor, oh, finna be emperor, this masculine, heal they sell. The only reason this masculine is still sitting here waiting on the, the third party, which is interfering in this twin flame connection. It's because they need to learn to love themselves enough to know they don't need this shit. Once they heal it within they because they keep saying, what is this that we have? Why won't you open up? Why every time you come around, six of cups, three of cups, you come around, they've been on them for a while. Every time you come around, we have such a good time. What is this? Is this my person? Or if there's something that has this emperor stuck, and it's because they have not healed they own fucking heart. Or else they wouldn't have to go outside they self for this bullshit. Or they just could not be seeing this this Knight of Cups person um, clearly. But I feel like it's something to do with... You have to be aware first. Then this person need to heal that within them. So And, and it's got to be their heart because that's the only king that ain't out here is the King of Cups. Once they heal... and it, So it's got something to do with self-esteem with this right here. Pride... It's got something to do with this person's self-esteem. Because when you fully love yourself... Now, I feel like this Empress... Empress Queen of Cups... She fully healed. Or understand how this shit works. I feel like the difference here is you understand how to transmute energy. This masculine energy doesn't know how to do that yet. Because if he did, he could take this stuck energy that he gets from this Knight of Cups... Transmute that shit and make it work for him. And put the work in on his own heart. 1414 14 on the phone and heal his damn self so that he's able to when this person comes around because nobody says that you're not gonna not be tempted you can't stop motherfuckers from tempting you it's how you're gonna respond to it so next time that this knight of cups energy comes in and want to have fun they can see it for what the fuck it is okay and recognize it and not fall for it they continue to fall for it every single time that's how they get in the Seven of Cups, Eight of, of Swords, stuck in their head. This is the worst place to be, y'all, because you can't move. Even if you wanted to, you're just stuck like, what the fuck? Why this person won't, you know, open up? Why they won't give me no clarity? Why they won't whatever? All right? 
And instead of missing the opportunity when it comes around, this person takes it every time. And it, so for some of you guys here, it's just a pattern. This person likes to go after unhealed, unavailable people because they themselves are not available. And then for others of you, it's a particular person that always comes around in this masculine's life. It's someone who's not available is what this is. And it's because this person ain't available. Do y'all see the King of Cups out here? No. Somebody hard space all blocked off. And so they're searching for that outside of themselves. And all they're getting is a Knight of Cups. Somebody come in, very charming, have fun, and confuse the fuck out of this person. And maybe they leave again. Or maybe they have this person with them, but they're not opening up. They're unavailable. They're emotionally unavailable. Emotionally immature and all of that shit. Now, for maybe one or two of you, this is the masculine. This masculine himself is emotionally unavailable. And that's why the King of Cups ain't out here. But for the majority of you, this masculine is stuck on someone who's emotionally unavailable. And it's because he hasn't healed. Because you should not have to go outside of yourself for shit. Once he heals his heart, he won't be stuck on this no more. He can move right on away from it. Got to get a little to yourself. I feel like the Empress is doing that. Queen of Cups, Empress. So, somebody needs to get the truth and clarity around why they stuck on a night. A night of Cups, y'all. Someone's stuck on a night who's not even available. They're not even given. All they ha basically, all they have to give is a night. And they're not even given that. Four of Pentacles. And that has someone, that has a masculine stuck. And it's delaying the fuck out of them. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Slowing this person all the way down. It's like this person's love life with the Two of Cups here has come to a complete halt. And it happens every time they get wrapped up into this energy. And it will come back over and over and over again to test you. Service. When are you finally going to get sick of the bullshit and heal your fucking heart? So when next time this little motherfucker come around from the past and want to have fun, you can move right on from it. Recognize it for what it is. Okay? Yeah, somebody come and get this person a lot of attention, say all the right things, but they don't get anything out of it. It's unrequited. And your person is stuck looking outward at this person. Why you won't do this? Why you won't do that? No. Why won't you heal yourself? Why won't you love yourself enough to know you don't deserve this bullshit? Why can't you see that every time you take this person back, you end up getting stuck, delayed? That's what this masculine needs to see. So whoever this, this Knight of Cups could be a family member. Okay? Could be a family member. Um, it could be someone that they grew up with. It could be someone that they have kids with. But that person is not available. They were not put in your life to have a relationship with. They was put in this masculine life so that they could heal their heart and know that they deserve better. Because once he healed that, then that's all four kings. Then that would be an emperor. Then once that emperor is fully in his energy and has mastered himself... That's when he can go toward the Empress. He has to see that. And again, that's the damn truth. He has to see the truth of it. Ten of Pentacles. In, uh, so it could be family for some. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. It's like, it's a lover that comes through. It's like this person could be focusing on themselves, working, and here comes this Knight of Cups back from the past. A blast from the past is what it is. Tower with the lovers and get this person a little message will come through. Hey, let's go out and whatever the fuck. And your person, like a fool, jumps off the cliff with this energy. Some of these people could be watching the masculine. It's like they know him like clockwork. They've been doing it for so long, Knight of Cups. It's, it's, it's two types of things. Either they watch this person and they know him like clockwork. Oh, well, I ain't seen him in three months. It's time for me to go back in and get him all fucked up again. Or you have a Knight of Cups person who walks around and scouts out people like this. People who are not in, people who are incomplete within themselves. 
Because only people who are incomplete within themselves are searching for something outside of them. And yes, you do have narcissistic motherfuckers out there who can meet you and within one conversation they know all your weaknesses. Someone's weaknesses is their heart space or something like that because it's not healed. So all it takes is a couple of, it takes some attention, six of wands, um, the right words, cup of drinks, this person stuck. A lot of attention because they got some self-worth issues. This emperor's good by herself. She don't need none of that. She's already healed that. Possibly from being rejected by the damn emperor. Because the emperor is chasing somebody that he's being rejected by. This emperor need to see that there will never be nothing with this Knight of Cups energy. Never. Ever. 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 It's here for a lesson. Service. That's it. See the truth of the emperor. Or masculine. So you can fully step into your energy. Yeah, moon in the reverse. Could be a Pisces. But what they need to do is block communication from this person. Okay? And put in the motherfucking work on they self. That's what they need to do. Work on their heart. Excuse me. Work on... They need to make a head over heart decision. I keep seeing the Knight of Swords. Look at this person come in fast. And make this make this masculine thing. It's about to be another. It's gonna be a ten of cups. It's gonna be the end all be all. It will never be the end all be all. This person's here to teach you a spiritual lesson to help you heal. Now I don't think this not a cups person knows that they're here to teach this masculine, but that's exactly what they're here to do. It's a lesson, service, so he can get in his masculine energy and, and go to the next cycle. He's been repeating this cycle. For a long ass time. It's just a blast from the past. I always come back. Okay. And like I said, for some of you, it don't have to be the same person. It's definitely the same cycle. This masculine goes after unavailable people. Who tell him whatever fuck you want to hear. Mm-hmm. Nine of Cups. <laughs> yep. And nine times out of ten, he get with motherfuckers who just take him for his, his money. And so then he'd be somewhere, like, sad. Like, I can't believe I fell for it again. Four cups in the reverse. I can't believe I fell for it again. Every time she come around, man, I be working on myself. Things be going good. And she called. She hit me up. And we, we hang out for the weekend. And then I'm just, before I know it, three months down went by and I'm broke. See the cycle. See the fucking cycle. Learn, bruh. Got to learn. Page of Swords can also be student energy. Okay? It, it will never be a four ones in the upright. That's not what it's for. Period. It's a lesson. Stop filing for it. You are not boo-boo the fool. And you know, this masculine is unaware of energy. And they could be unaware that their heart chakra is blocked or hurting or something. It's something that they're yearning for outside of them. And so it might take, this might this person might, well, of course, the emperor is stubborn. Some of them is stubborn as fuck. Okay? And so it's taken a lot of fucking times for this person to see you cannot build a Ten of Pentacles, a Four of Wands, a Ten of Cups with a Knight of Cups. You can do it, but will it be long-lasting? No, it's going to always end up Ten of Swords. Y'all can't see that. But it will always end up Ten of Swords because this person will always choose another lover because they're not in your life to be long-lasting. But with the moon coming up, I feel like this go-around, it may have been revealed. This person might be getting ready to come in. Maybe your person's been in solitude somewhere, working with this Day of the Pentacles. And it's been a few months. And maybe this Knight of Cups is watching the masculine. They're looking at their watch. Okay, it's been about three months. They could have rounds that they make. This person could have a few people that they know. Because like I said, certain narcissistic people. Especially if this is a test, it's going to always come up until you learn it. But I do feel like that this Knight of Cups got a little bit of 
But this devil and that six of wands, that's narcissistic energy. Okay? They come back in your person's life. It don't be more than three months. They don't, it's like, because once you let someone completely heal from you, then it ain't nothing to grab back onto because that person has healed it. Everything is out here except for the king of cups, the heart. Your person has not healed from this person from the past. Because they think it's going to be the end of be all. They always end up broke. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Wands in the reverse and have to start all over. We saw the fool twice. They have to start all over. This person comes in and make them lose everything and they can't see it. I feel like Spirit is telling, you know, either this masculine is watching and they need to, they've already, they see the lesson and this person's getting ready to come back around again. Spirit's telling this person to stand up for themselves and move away. Six of Swords. I move away from this person. Um, cause that with the moon in the reverse, I'm just getting mask is off. The mask is off. I see you for who you are. Okay. You only come around to get me off task here. And I got somewhere I gotta be. Let's see. Yeah, they're gonna have to resist this person. They have to give up their strength and their willpower that when it's not a cups come back this time, tell them to get the fuck on. Tell them say I wish your bitch would. Okay? And some and that knight of cups know she got that kind of he or she has that power over this masculine. They know it. If you look at this card, she knows she got that power over this lion. Could be a Leo for somebody. But they know that. And they use it to their advantage every fucking time. And you cannot blame the Knight of Cups. We have to be accountable for our own well-being. We teach people how to treat us. Okay? The Empress went through that shit, but she got tired. And, and, and what showed up for her? The Queen of Cups. She loved her damn self. That's what this masculine is missing. The King of Cups. If he could love his motherfucking self and realize his own self-worth, he would vibrate too high to even see the Knight of Cups when they come around. Okay? So, that's the damn lesson. Tower with the fucking five of wands. This person's putting you in competition with a Knight of Cups that maybe they just can't get over. Maybe they believe they're supposed to be more than what they are. They're not. They ain't supposed to be shit. That's a lesson. Okay. What else, spirit? Religious factors. That's that hierophant. Someone's belief system. Belief in themselves. And maybe they, they got some type of self-worth issues. And they need to really... I can't make it up. They need to release this motherfucker to keep coming around. Completely. And then they need to honestly discuss how they feel. Mm -hmm. Engagement, honeymoon, passion, deception. This person, oh shit. Be careful. This may have already happened, y'all. Let me tell you. This Knight of Cups, they always come around and promise you a person the Ten of Cups, right? And they never get it. This time, they might come around and say, let's get married. Oh, my God. They're, your person is needing to fucking protect themselves. Because it's going to be hell to fucking pay. For some of y'all, this has already happened. This has already happened. That, not, that damn Knight of Cups came in. And, and told them that they loved them. Gave them some attention. They got engaged, they got married, had a good passion, but look, deception, deception. Oh my God, that's why the four ones in the reverse. This is not supposed to be your end all be all, bruh. Four cups in the reverse, nine of pentacles in the fucking reverse. Maybe this nine of cups is completely codependent on your person and your person's hanging on because they heart space ain't healed. This is a whole shit show. Yeah, ow, it's a whole shit show. Okay, so with the moon, but see the moon in the reverse. What did I say I was getting with this? Mask off. I feel like your person see that shit now. 
I feel like they see it now. They got to come up out this bullshit, bro. I'm talking about for real. What else, spirit? The person, oh my God. They, y'all know the Nine of Cups is very charming. Very fucking charming. And they just get this little person all in their little head, child. Mm, mm, mm. Stay optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life. Because they done been ten of swords. This person could have married him and took everything. Took every fucking thing. Child, he was showing up ten of pentacles in the upright. Now somebody's showing up nine of pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> and here this empress is over here as the true love. This person has to be tested. What he saw as a relationship, a marriage, was really a spiritual lesson so that he could master himself, heal his fucking heart. Step into the emperor energy. Step into his power. So he finna get mm, and let go. He got to let go of them control issues. Keep a fucking open mind. Forgiving and learning. Make the effort. I'm telling you. That's this person's last lesson before they can. But you know, sometimes it takes motherfuckers 15 years to learn that last lesson. Depends on how long they want to keep repeating the fucking cycle. And your person always repeat the cycle with this Knight of Cubs. They are just like stuck thinking that this is their person. How? But see, unhealed people, he unavailable his damn self emotionally. So he's chasing un emotionally unavailable people. Or he's stuck on them type of people. Once you heal your damn self, when this empress heals, she stopped chasing that emperor. Yes, but she did. What the fuck? She, need? she don't need to go outside herself for nothing. I love she looks she get to her damn self. And that's what this uh emperor right here missing. Ain't no king cups on the board at all. Mm. So I just saw you deserve love. Yep, love yourself first, man. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person get he gets passion with this energy. They have a beautiful time, but there's no nothing. Ten, nothing stable and some of them really got done wrong some of these people married this person who came in and and told them oh my god y'all they fed them some bullshit for real and they fell for it seven of cups eight of swords and and uh married this person and some of them took out this person money so they healing they right now they in hermit mode healing family issues okay and as they're healing, they're calling in their soulmate. So, you know, when this person steps out, it will be safe for you to love this person. Or safe for them to love you. I feel like they're the ones with the trust issues because this Knight of Cups keep fucking them over. Now, for some of you, this already happened. And they already got the damn divorce for ones in the reverse. But they're holding on to what that person did. That's why the card, that could be another reason the card is saying release your ex. They're holding on to what that person did to them. And they scared to come and love you. And they holding back from you. Okay. So, they got to hear that shit they said. Stop looking for the answers from someone else. I don't know how this is going to resonate. But yeah, some of them either need to release that Knight of Cups. Or release what that Knight of Cups did to them. Either way, it's time for them to clear out their energy. Let me get y'all some. Hell yeah, it sure is. Time to fucking go. Let that shit go, child. Release and surrender. Whew. Person always come back. And with this belief system, they thought that was their person. And that person would never quite open up. And so that last time they came in and said, let's get married. Your person's like, yay. And they married them in ten of swords. Okay? Ten of fucking swords. Spirits telling them to cut the damn cords with their energy. Motherfucking clear yourself. And get ready to go toward this emperor because they got some empress. Because they got some type of creative project. I feel like uh, maybe both of you guys dealt with narcissistic people. And that's going to be part of y'all work some type of way. But I feel like this emperor 
His shit might have been a little bit worse than yours, collective. Yeah. Some some type of service y'all got together. With this creative project here, workshops and seminars. It says attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. They had to go through this. Not only to heal themselves and, you know, learn the lessons, but they're going to take that once they step into that emperor energy and they're going to help other people. Someone was definitely dealing with a narcissist. Five of Swords, fucking Seven of Swords, which is the deception card. The Devil, and what other card did I see, child? Six of Wands. Very narcissistic energy. And it's hard uh, to come off from from under a narc, especially when you got a history with him, Six of Cups. If you got kids with him, oh my god, it's the worst. It's the fucking worst, okay? But, um, yeah, that's what's going on here. So, you gotta take, figure out which one. Um, this is about to happen, because everybody's on a different timeline. Or, this is what happened while you were waiting on this person that was off in La La Land with a narc and didn't even know it. Um, and that narc turned everybody against this person. They made sure that's what narcissistic people do. They start a bunch of drama around you and your family and friends. Um, break all your shit. Tear your shit up. Spend all your money. They leave you. They come to destroy. Four ones in the reverse with the towel. They come to fucking destroy you. It's a heavy lesson. What did the card say? Adversity. It ain't no easy peasy thing. Adversity is the best way to learn. I'm telling you, somebody got. Uh, okay? That was that was part of it. So they could fully step into their emperor energy. Now, you know, collective, I don't know what your lesson was. Could have just been self-love. You know, because these are only two things that's showing up. The only thing that could have been delaying my empress was self-love. But your person, it was self-love, and they was hooked up with an art. Mm. I feel like the lessons was the same, because that's the mirror, the soul mirrors to each other what they need to fix. So I feel like y'all lessons was the same, but they had it was heavy, because they had kids with this narcissist, and they had a lot of history with this narcissist, and this art was very good at what they did, and they watched this person pages for us and. And they knew right when to come in. Before this emperor fully healed, they come back in again. It's like keeping them on a string. Keeping them on a string. I'm getting a high pitch ring in right now. Somebody's spirit guide in here. Somebody's grandmama's in here. They will keep this person on a string long enough. And it's like that last time, finally, okay, I'm ready. Let's get married. And your person did it. it they, they heart got ripped out. For real, for real. Tell us what, man. It's, it's the only way you're going to learn, right? So this person don't need to take it personal. You know, once they see the lesson, then they can be grateful for it. Because once they finally come over here, they're going to be mad at themselves that they even played so long with this energy. Can you imagine a knight of cups to an empress? Yeah, once they finally hear from their bullshit... Come about their head, love themselves enough to know they deserve better, heal themselves, and make their way over here towards the sunshine. They're going to be like, why in the fuck, you know, did I even waste so much time with this night of cups? But it's a process, and empresses, y'all know that. It's a process this person got to go through. So, anyway, they'll be all right, child. Mm, mm, mm. And I just heard... With this pride card right here, for some of you, this has already happened, and this person got too much pride. Like, damn, I, I got fucked up. I lost everything dealing with this person, and I just couldn't see it. You, you may have known this person's lesson before they did. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It's life. You know, now if you don't learn the lesson now, you just keep on repeating it, then yeah, okay. I would be ashamed too. What they say, fool me once, so me, fool me twice, or some shit like that. I feel like this person got fooled 30 times, child. But sometimes, when, and, and that's why your heart has to be healed. When your heart is healed, you can recognize real love. His heart wasn't healed. So he couldn't recognize that he was chasing a knight of cups. Someone who was emotionally unavailable wasn't going to give him shit. 
okay? So, that's what I have for the collective. It's your girl spirit just said. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Don't be mad at this person, y'all. It's just a lesson. You know. I feel like uh, for a little while, you guys were waiting on this person. And they were waiting on someone else. And it's just it's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But don't think they was over there having peaches and cream. No. Because it was a lesson. Service. And they're going to take that. My favorite, favorite tarot card reader. Or she, I don't even look at her as a reader. She's a teacher to me. Um, her name is Mary Jo. Soul for Revolution. She says, nine times out of ten, whatever you've learned for yourself, you could take the very same thing and help someone else. So, this masculine, whenever he does step into his energy, I feel like he's going to help a lot of people. A lot of men come out of it. You know how embarrassing that is to go through that situation as a man? You know, women, we go through that shit all the time. And society doesn't give us shit about us showing our emotions and crying and trying to figure it out and put the pieces back together. But society is not so, you know, forgiving when it comes to masculines. They can't cry about that shit out in the open and, and openly talk about it. So this person has... That's what part of, of their um, spiritual path, uh, their purpose. is what they're going to do for work. This person is an empath. And they were definitely hooked up with a narcissist. And like I said, well, entrepreneur here, that is exactly what they're going to do for their work. Teach other masculines how to come up out the energy of dealing with narcissistic people. Uh, Spirit says, there's nothing to worry about here. It was a blessing in disguise. So as soon as this person heals... Then they can look at things from a different perspective and then they can show their gratitude. Be grateful for, for that person coming into their life. Because I know I was grateful to meet my masculine because it turned me into who I am today. Had I not went through that pain of him rejecting me. See, the real twin flames, y'all be on here telling me some stories. I'm like, whoa, okay. The most my masculine really did for me that I know of is rejected me. And that's what they're supposed to do. Okay? Reject you and mirror to you what you need to fix. And so, I'm grateful that I met him. Hell, fuck yeah. Because I wouldn't have did what I did in that year and a half of being in solitude. Uh, you know, a lot of it, I was throwing snot and crying and just trying to figure. I was eight of swords all in my head why he couldn't see me for who I was. And I feel like a lot of you guys were in that space. But for some of y'all... While you was in that space, so were they, but it was on another person. It's like, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, okay? But, yeah, I'm grateful. I'm telling you, somebody, shit, baby. Somebody is dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, of Virgo, a Leo, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that shit got this person fucked up. And everybody heals at a different rate. But that's what's going to happen next. We, we all know we go through that five of pentacles. That's that loss. That's that death of the ego. What was the first card that came out, y'all? Pride. So once this person goes through that death of the ego, they can begin the healing process. Okay? When they heal, when they heal. Then they can step off in their emperor energy. And then they'll be grateful too. But right now they just in pain and anguish. They just don't know. You know. How the fuck did I fall for this shit? Why didn't I see it? Why don't she love me? Why don't this and why don't that? It was a lesson. It was a lesson. And it's you know. A lot of people don't want to hear that. What you mean it was a lesson? I built this motherfucker for 10 years. We got two kids. People put themselves with people, and God put people with people. Just because a person came in your life don't mean you're supposed to sit down with that person. 44, 44 on the phone. They came to put you in the best version of yourself. 
That's it, bro. This person got to drop that pride and, re and fill that void with love. And they'll be on their way. They'll be on their way to the road of recovery. Okay, for us wars. It's not easy, but damn it. What you gonna do? Stretch your life away? You know? And, and when I was in that place of hurt, I didn't want to hear this shit that I'm talking about right now. If I came across a reader who was saying some shit like that, I'd click off, child. Because you want to hold on to your pain. It's your pain, damn it. You want to own it and... No, I just refuse to move. I just refuse to believe that my whole fucking life with this person was a lesson. I refuse to believe it. But you know what denial does? It delays you. Keep you stuck. And it gives that person your power. So, you know, just be aware. Take it day by day. Child, nobody said shit was going to be easy. Ain't nobody said that shit was going to be easy now. I ain't finna never get up here and tell you, oh, child, it's easy breathe. No, the fuck it ain't. It's hard as fuck. It was hard. I could see him on the street and just my heart would ache because he couldn't see. No matter what I did, he couldn't see me. He couldn't see me for who I was. That shit hurt so bad, y'all. But at some point, you got to be like, fuck him seeing me for me. Let me see me for me. And that was the lesson. That's all Spirit wanted me to do was to see who the fuck I was. And then you build on top of it. And then all of the resentment that you had towards that person, then you start being grateful. Like, bro, I'm glad I met you. I'm glad you did this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it take time. It take time. Shit ain't easy. All right. That's enough talking. That's what I got. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.